Okay, in this video I just want to go through the basics of using the new UI builder. All these elements in green can be just uh, drag, dragged onto the UI area to be added. And just want to point out with the text box, if you don't add a label, there will be a little space on the right hand side which you need to grab to be able to drag it. The same applies with the um, text area with a button and with a list box and with a file select you need to grab up near the top area here to drag it um, also want to point out with a um, checkbox and also applies for radio button if I have a label that is two words the second word will most likely get pushed underneath to quite easy to fix that just click on inside the red border click edit and I've added a width option here without a value just need to add a value in there so if I make that 150 pixels don't forget to add, add the px save changes and that will set the label how it should be uh, tabs you can add tabs at any stage Um, can add images inside the tabs, it's optional. And you'll notice again that with a tab, if you have two words in the label, the second one will most likely get pushed underneath. All you need to do is come to tab settings and adjust the width. Um, tabs you can add tabs at any stage um, the height of the tabs is yeah, it's three three different height settings you can have um, you'll notice how they're not quite that sort of drop behind the actual UI area when I first did it. If I switch to vertical, switch back to horizontal, and it's as it should be. Um, so, yes, you can set that wherever you like. Um, set the change of colors the font colors uh, font type and font size also for the tabs there is a got horizontal and vertical there is a third option wizard that's for um, if you want to create a wizard style UI I'll make a separate video explaining that um, come back go to UI settings you can change the height of the UI just need to click apply whenever you change this value uh, set the font family font um, size, font color change the background and if you want a background gradient you can set that here Um, also have some pre-made backgrounds they will change the tab colors as well 
and you can always go back to tab settings to change any of these colors and you can add custom Google fonts, custom CSS, custom script, custom HTML when um, if you add custom HTML just make sure you only add one element at a time uh, any um, element you click on it will this uh, context menu will pop up the line left the line top that's associated with the auto align feature as is this up here I'll make a separate video for that one um, edit change style resize most elements can be resized um, deleted add pop up send it back um, to add a pop up just need to add a button once you've added a button just click on it get the pop up menu context menu click add pop up and you can easily adjust the size um, you'll notice if I set this set 570 and it jumps back to 470 that's because the height of my UI is set at 500 pixels and it won't allow the pop-up height to be well it will be less 30 pixels less than the height of the UI maximum and um, just add elements as normal pretty much most elements can be resized Um, that one. when you've finished adding elements to the pop-up just click finish edit pop-up and once you've edit, added pop-ups you get this edit pop-up button just click on that whenever you want to edit a pop-up any that you've added will be listed here click on the one you want and there you go edit you'll also be able to delete tabs this button will show up once you've added tabs <coughs> um, with a panel I'll just quickly show no need to add a value here really you can just add it if you click on get the context menu you can send it to back And to resize a panel, you don't actually click on resize, you need edit for resizing the panel. You can also change the uh, background color. Um, Um, I'll go through show what this option does shortly um, open tab that's um, related to the for creating a wizard style UI I'll go through that in another video just delete I'll just add a I've got the um don't know if I'll mention it yet, snap to grid makes it much quicker and easier for aligning elements. Uh, 
as you can see and also <clears throat> change style option I can change the style of any of the elements at any time if you only want to change one of the checkboxes I'd select this option to change all checkboxes that have the same style select this option and that applies with pretty much all the elements the button if you click edit you have a number of options you can change you can change the label set the uh, font font type font color um, set the font size you got border radius and your button height uh, you can make them round if you wanted um, I think that's pretty much covered the basics that you need to know this option or you can load a saved UI go into UI settings tab settings save the UI get code and create a new UI yeah okay I think that's about it okay see ya